I want to just go through tonight through the word of God that we have uh, shared in our live video. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to read the word of God from the book of the Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse number 26. The Bible says that, look at the bed of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in the barns. Yet your heavenly Father feed them. Are you not much more valuable than them? That means the Bible is telling us that um, the birds of the air, these birds, they, they don't work, they don't do anything. But God still take care of the birds. Hallelujah. Amen. And make sure that the birds have got everything to eat. Amen. Hallelujah. Then God, the Bible is telling us that we are more important than birds. Amen. To God, we are more important than birds. Amen. The same God who is feeding the birds, He will feed us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That means the same God who is feeding the birds. Who's making sure that the bed, the bed which does not work, does not sow or reap, the same Amen. God will make sure that also we have got enough to eat. Amen. Amen. Because He value us more than the beds. Amen. Then if Amen. you are a child of the living God, don't worry. What am I going to eat? Trust Amen. God that God will provide everything that you need. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And as you trust God, He will provide everything that we need. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because many people are worried. What will we eat? What will we wear? How will this happen? How will this work out? The Bible is saying that in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse number 27. No one by worrying can add even a single hour to their life. That means what God is trying to say to us, worrying does not help. We must cast all our cares unto the Lord. Amen. As we cast our cares unto the Lord, He will care of us. He will take care of us. Amen. But not worry. We must not worry. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse number 30 says that, Is that how God... Is that... If that is how God closes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Okay. First of all, God was dealing with somebody who's worried about what will I eat. Hallelujah. Amen. That if God can feed the bed, surely he will feed us. Surely he will feed you. Then the second one, somebody who's worried about what will I wear? Where will I find clothes? The Bible is telling us that God actually clothes also the, the bed of the air. The, no, uh, the flowers of the field. And he make them to be beautiful. That flower that today is beautiful, tomorrow it's thrown into the fire. Tomorrow it's no more. But he makes sure that 
He, he, he clothes it with beauty. He makes sure that that flower is beautiful. Then you and me, we are more important than flowers. Because we are the children of the living God. If we are more important than flowers, indeed he will make sure that you have got a beautiful clothes. You have got wonderful clothes. The clothes which are more wonderful than the clothes of what? Of flowers. What I'm trying to say to you, you are important. Hallelujah. You are important than flower, more than flower. You are important more than birds. I mean before God. And by that, meaning that God will surely do what? Take care of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Matthew 6, verse number 31. So do not worry, saying, What shall I eat? Or what shall I drink? Or what shall we wear? Don't worry about that. The Bible in verse number 32 says that the, for the pagans run after these things. And you are yet your heavenly father knows that you need them. That means unbelievers, they are worried about these things. And they are running after them. Hallelujah. Amen. They are running after them. And God is saying that for an unbeliever, it is just for them to worry about these things. Because they are trying to take care of themselves. But you as a child of God, it's not just that you must be worried about these things. What will I wear? What will I eat? It's not just... You have got God who is behind you. Amen. You have got God who is our take care. We have got Amen. God who is our blesser. Amen. That's what David could say that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. And I'm saying to you whether you believe it or not, there is a shepherd who is busy taking care of you. You have got a shepherd who's making sure that everything goes well. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have all that you have to do is to trust upon him, is to depend upon him. As you depend upon him, he will provide all that you need. What, you know, you must take care about as a child of the living God is to take care of God's business. Amen. Is to Amen. take care of what God cares about. Amen. And God will take care of what you care about. Amen. That's why the Bible says that in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse number 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. Instead of you struggling, going after them, the Bible is saying that the Lord saying that it shall be given to you as well. Everything that you need, it shall be given to you as well. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord will give it to you. The money you need, the job you need, the help you need, he will give it to us. Amen. As we do what? As we keep on seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness. Amen. And all Amen. the other things that other people are struggling to get will come to you as a gift will come to you as a reward. Amen. God wants to give you what you need as a reward. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. God wants to give that blessing to you as a reward. Not because you have struggled for it. No, not because you have struggled for it. 
but God is going to give it to you. Then what you must worry the most, what you must take care of the most, is to seek his kingdom and his righteousness and all the other things that other people are worried about, it will come to you as a gift. Take that to you as a prophetic word. Amen. That what others are struggling to get, it's about to come to us as a gift in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse number 34 of Matthew chapter 6. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Don't worry about tomorrow. Amen. Some people are worried about tomorrow. How will this, how will that work tomorrow? How will that work go about? Don't worry, the Bible is saying that. Tomorrow will worry about itself. Amen. God has prepared something already for you and for me tomorrow. Amen. Let me tell you something about the shepherd and the sheep. The sheep, they don't strategize that, okay, tomorrow we're going to be flocking here, tomorrow we're going to be flocking here. No, they don't do that. That is the duty of a shepherd. Even if they see, oh, today the grazing here is finishing. It's not their problem. It's a problem of what? Of a shepherd. And I'm saying to you also, when God, because the Lord has become our shepherd, how things are going to be tomorrow is not your problem. It's God's problem. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you the good news that, no, it can never be God's problem. God already has got a solution for it. Amen. He Amen. already has got the solution for it. Then just trust him. Amen. And to your tomorrow is going to be all right. Amen. You are, everything is going to be all right in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then I said tonight, say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Help me to cast my care. Help me to cast my care unto the Lord. Help me to trust upon the Lord. And never to doubt the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, I want us to begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray for yourself. Mandara brojanda la bazunda rabayande. Mandara bajanda la bazunda rabayande. Mandara bajanda la rabayande. Actually tonight, whatever troubling you, turn it to be a prayer request. And the Lord very soon is going to turn it into a testimony. command them to the abyss. 
wherever you are, receive every help. Receive every blessing. Receive every job. Receive every solution. Receive every breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, my family is blessed. My business is blessed. My business is blessed. My country is blessed. My country is blessed. My everything is blessed. My everything is blessed. In the name of 